And a year ago, we introduced you to Frances McIntosh. Originally from Scotland, she and her family moved to Broussard over 14 years ago with her husband, when her husband, rather, was offered a job. Now, after getting a divorce, Frances and her three children struggled to make ends meet while also trying to keep their visas to stay in a place that they considered home. But Frances's children are growing up, and that means that two of them could no longer stay here under her visa. Her eldest children are now back in Scotland, and Frances has been left alone with her daughter, and they're both doing what they can to get the family back together. Not much has changed in the year that has passed since our first meeting with Frances McIntosh. Glued to her computer, scouring the internet, still trying to find a way to help get her son Kieran back to the United States from Scotland. Last year, Kieran's visa expired. He did try to get another one, but after filling out the application incorrectly, took it upon himself to head back to his native Scotland before he could be deported. That's where he remains today. I had his interview at the embassy in London in January, and unfortunately, the visa was denied. Francis and Kieran spent the last year and over $15,000 working on getting him a visa to head back to the States, the only home that he's known since he was six years old. But those dreams were quickly shattered by a simple text message. It's tough as a parent to see or hear your kids so devastated. Now both mother and son contemplate what to do next. Spend more money? continue fighting the fight or simply give up. This year I'm applying for a new visa for me. So a lot of time and energy are going into that. I have to concentrate on me being able to stay here because I have a younger child too. Frances says coming forward a year ago with her family's struggles wasn't easy. The backlash she and her family faced afterward was even harder. But she says she did it to bring awareness and let others know that everyone has a story to tell if you stop and listen. And if we stop and share our story, it allows other people to have compassion, gain knowledge, and reach out and help. And, you know, Miss Francis is a really, a truly remarkable woman, you know, raising three kids on her own. Mm -hmm. They came to a country they didn't know, and they've really embraced Lafayette in the Acadiana area. Um, so to go for the kids, going back somewhere where they don't, they don't know anything. They don't about know it. anything. You know, it's a little, it's different. How hard for a parent too to have to watch your children one by one have to go back and, and you're helpless and there really isn't anything that you can do. I couldn't even I couldn't even imagine that. But again, there is so much more to immigration. Um, this story only like a minute 40. It mm -hmm. doesn't go into like real detail, but um, you know, there is so much more out there that and I think people easy. can read and it's not easy and, and it's not cheap. Exactly.